I hope that rhino isn't 3D printed. The rhino? No, that is oh. uh, that is ceramic. Yeah. I hope we didn't pay for that ceramic rhino. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. I hate, man, I hate how much just like knickknacks cost. Drives me crazy. It, that thing does nothing. Table balls? If it cost more than $2, I, it was a waste of money. Where, where do you think it was can't. from, if you had to guess? I hope it's from Value Village. And there's, I hope some other no idiot paid $200 for it, and there's I paid no $2 for it. Ceramic rhino. What, what, what were you table saying ages super. ago with the super expensive table balls? Uh, what about them? I was just saying I hate that. We, we, there was a whole rant months ago about... Yeah, just I think it was just basically this, like yeah. like knickknacks. It drives me crazy how much they cost. Oh, was it the bit about how uh, I think the whole thing is just a conspiracy where designers uh, buy this stuff because they get a commission ba for for the project based on how much they spend total. So they'll just pad it with like stupid line item things that are mm. like just an overpriced glass ball that they spend four hundred dollars on, so they make forty bucks. Um, um, I'm not sure because uh, we used to know like one of those interior designers. Oh, and some of this stuff just is like expensive. I mean, the thing is, you go to like Home Sense or something like that, and it's an eighty dollar table ball. Okay, look. but like this interior designer was like, well, we went to an artisan who would craft a table ball, and it'd be like three hundred bucks. Sure. I mean, it's not like I don't understand that things are expensive. I mean, you're talking to the person who made a solid gold Xbox controller. I get it. <laughs> yeah, but that's a little bit different than like a knickknack. That's an art piece, if you want to think about it that way. I think of it as more of an investment. I don't think of it as I made a solid gold Xbox controller. I think of it as I bought some gold. So that's yeah. my justification for that. As for like the artisan table ball made of I, like, I don't know glass about, or whatever. I don't, I don't know about know, you man. guys. I, I don't know how to justify it. I couldn't find this rhino, but I did find a $6,000 rhino. <laughs> oh my God. How tall is that? It's 24 inches tall? <laughs> it's, it's like, what? Is that four feet long? It's by France. <laughs> by France? <laughs> Good job, country. <laughs> but, what? Yeah, no, no, what go, the heck? Let's go up. Curse, cursor up. Here, right? Up, up, left. Oh, yeah. wow. By France. Yeah, France. France made it. France. Good job, France. Look at the other things uh, I love made. It. What is this? Oh, that's $8,000. What Man, is that? I had oh, a... Oh, wow. All right, so this is the type of stuff that they would put in your house. I had a blast. Um, there is a, there's a secondhand shop. Okay. Someone at a partner sent me this couch brand that they were like, Man, it'll change your life. You sit on this couch, you're never going to want to sit on any other couch. And I'm like, knowing you, um, this couch is stupid. 10 grand or something. Like, you're not even close, dude. 40 grand? Probably cl closer to that range. Anyway, uh, this couch company is so far up their own ass. They that already look like it. The store in Vancouver, the store in Vancouver, Luke, does not have a sign on it. Ah, uh, yep. It, it, if you don't know where it is and who they oh, are... I've been to this store. You don't deserve to be there. Anyway, so... That looks very comfy. They had, like a, they had like a $12,000 beanbag. Yeah. I think yeah, it yeah. was hand-knit or something. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, the point is not this. The point is that I went there for fun because there's no way that I would spend that kind of money on any couch. It could give you an orgasm every time you sit on it, and I wouldn't buy it. Mm. There's other ways to get that, and they're cheaper. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but I went there just to check it out to humor to humor my questionable reason reusability factor to humor my contact also the danger of the cheaper ones yeah the number of people that say laundering <laughs> when they see stuff like this it's like no no that is actually just their business it's not not everything is money laundering yeah, it's, a legitimate. it's just like how people will just cry like tax write-off <laughs> no, um, it's, it's not how that works. Anyway, um, so I went just to just to just to know what a couch that costs as much as a, a whole ass vehicle, a, a new one, yeah, um, would be like. Really nice couch. Great couch. It looked very, very comfy. But what I had the most fun with was actually the secondhand store a few doors down. Okay. If you're telling me I can get that comfy of a couch there for cheap, I'd be happy. While I was there, uh, hold on. Or is this one of those like crazy expensive secondhand stores? It was a secondhand store for things like those couches. Okay. Yeah. While I was there, I found this. 
I'm excited. Huh. It's a lamp. Okay. In the shape of a horse. All right. <laughs> it costs... I can't see the place. 6,500 euros. Euros. Oh. And it is... Oh, my God. How are their pictures so bad? Hold on. 95. How, is, how are these their only pictures? You don't need to see it. You do need to see it. It's the you size of a horse. It. Oh, Wow. It is a, it is a horse-sized So you also lamp. have... Where the fuck would you put this? <laughs> well, you also have a, an enormous mansion that you need to fill with things. <laughs> I guess so. I would, I would, if I owned this, I would put it at the bottom of my pool. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, that, that you would be reasonable. Oh, you can man. scuba dive inspect your $9,000 horse lamp. Yeah. Five-year warranty, though. Nice. Oh. <sighs> Sweet. Yeah, so it weighs 120 kilograms, so that's about 250 pounds. Whoa! It is 2.25 meters high, so that's about 7 feet. It's enormous. Man, this place, just for a trip, go on a date. Go down to Chinatown, okay. get some food, yep. go with the missus, just go hang out in this store for a bit. Hey, do you want to see and how just certain play, people just, live? Just play the how much do you think this cost game. And you just like keep score. Bring a little notepad and then play prices right rules and see if you guys can just just have some fun. It's actually fun. It's a blast. So the, I think the 100 Gex song is just about that lamp. <laughs> So, uh, to give wow. you some idea of where it is, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's kind of, uh, east of Chinatown, southeast of Gastown, uh, and it's called, oh man, no, that's not it, might be, I th think it's this one, um, oh no, this might not be it. Oh, that's something the heart of an upstairs. Yes, 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 yes. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, I've got it. It's called Carriage House. Affordable luxury. Yeah, that horse was like half price. <laughs> uh, if I was if I was more of an idiot, I'd be like, wow, what a deal, and I would buy it. Um, so they are Vancouver's premier luxury furniture store, which is not actually quite right because they're actually this an upscale consignment boutique. So if you're not familiar with consignment, basically you drop off your thing and then the price goes down, 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 down. The store handles this for you until it sells. And then they keep some percentage and they give you some percentage. So obviously uh, it's in their interest to curate the items in the store to make sure they're offering a variety. And it's in your interest to have it sell, presumably, at the highest price possible. So it's almost like a reverse auction. Or it starts high and then goes low, 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 low until it sells or until I think you like come back and get it. So it's kind of like a classy pawn shop. Um, man, it's just. That, that horse would be a great way to get people in the door. Freaking mm -hmm. wild though, dude. Like, I don't know. We these, should we should get that horse and put it in the lobby. These lamps aren't that bad. I mean, uh, it's more than I would spend on a lamp. You know, Ralph Lauren lamp. Why is there a Ralph Lauren lamp? I don't know, because... It doesn't look good. Dude, I don't know! It looks like someone put a lamp head on, like, a tripod. Like, it, it looks like it has the three legs connecting... $900, the, like here you go. a camera tripod. That doesn't look good. Well, but you get two, though. They're half price. Yeah, two. But, like, I'm not even trying to... Like, if that was $15, I'd okay, be like... Okay, show me a lamp that you think looks lamp. good. I don't know. Google lamp, and you'll probably find better-looking lamps than these. <laughs> Let me let me Google lamp. What a hater! Hey, I immediately found multiple better looking lamps, and I haven't even like clicked in on it. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah, there's a Christie projector lamp. Who doesn't like that? A bunch of these look super cool. They're also really expensive. These are very expensive. Lighting is flipping. Lighting expensive. is really expensive. They know where you've been shopping for the last five minutes. Also, probably that. That's probably a thing. But here we go. Look, this is a cheap lamp. That looks cool. It doesn't have enough animals in it. <laughs> it's not a horse. It needs Why more tessellation. 
I yeah. only like things that are tessellated like it's 2009. So you'll know that I've completely gone off the rails when I own that you, horse lamp. You buy that horse. Yeah. That's your, that's your yeah. uh, canary in the coal mine? Yeah. Is you buying that horse yeah. lamp? Yeah. What if we 3D printed He's you lost one? it. Mm. I'm looking at some very large format 3D printers. Why? <laughs> uh, obviously for content. Hmm. Four, okay. Four feet tall? Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, we could do Whoa. a... We could do a mini, we could do a Shetland lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 